Hello again. We're factoring the sum of two cubes, and basically what that is is like a, a term cubed plus another term cubed. And there's actually a formula for that, and it looks like this. And I'll just explain it as I go along. But actually, if you uh, check the proof, if you multiply all these out, distribute, etc., it'll cancel and become a cubed plus b cubed, which is actually pretty fascinating. So an example of that uh, when you want to factor something is like x cubed plus 27. And what I tell my students is, this is the sum of two cubes. And you can factor it. They say, well, I don't know what that is. And this is actually a problem for students because they don't know that 27 is, in fact, 3 cubed. It is. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. And it falls under this model where you can factor it as a uh, sum of two perfect cubes. So if I follow this formula, my x is my a and my 3 is my b. So I go ahead and I do that. I put x plus 3. And here's what I tell my students. If you want an x cubed and you have an x, put an x squared. And if you have a 3 and you want a 3 cubed, put a 3 squared. So when you end up multiplying those out, it will work. This is actually 3 to the first. Uh, for the middle term, students get confused. What I tell them to do is take the opposite sign. So this was a positive, so make it a negative, And just combine the terms together. So it's 3x. And by the way, that's a plus 3 cubed. I'm uh, sorry, plus 3 squared. So when I want to simplify it, because I actually do have to do a little bit of simplification, it's x plus 3, x squared minus 3x, and then plus 3 squared. You don't leave it as 3 squared, you make it 9. And there you go. Can't factor anymore. Uh, if you wanted to uh, figure out this, if you were figuring out a root, which we'll do later, you'd have to use the quadratic formula. I suppose you can actually complete the square on just this trinomial here. But that's uh, even more bothersome. I just use a quadratic formula. Okay, next one. This is more difficult, something that students generally tend to find uh, more well, difficult, I suppose. 8x to the 6 plus 1. This is actually the sum of two uh, perfect cubes as well. And you can factor it. And students don't always buy into that. And I'll show you what I mean. 8 is the same thing as 2 times 2 times 2. And x to the 6 is the same thing as x squared times x squared times x squared. So actually, it's 2x squared to the third. 2 to the third is 8, x squared to the third is x to the sixth. Plus 1 cubed. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. That doesn't really change. Well, why I'm writing that is because if I want to apply it to this formula, you have to see what happens. Now I ask my students, uh, some of them get it really quickly and some of them don't, and you can always look back if you don't get it as quickly, is what's my a term and what's my b term? And some students say, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that, that's my a term. 2x squared. And I would say, you're right. Plus 1. Now what you have to do is uh, 2x squared, right here, times uh, 2x squared, all in parentheses squared, will give me 8x to the 6th. The way I phrase that is so absolutely brutal. So what I tell my students instead is this. Okay, 2 times what will be 8? And they say, 4. And say, x squared times x to the 1 is x to the 6th. And sometimes you say x to the third, it's not, it's x to the fourth. Speaking of which, I should probably move the parentheses over just a little bit. Okay, 1 times 1 squared will give me 1 cubed. I'm actually going to write that down. We're going to make it plus 1 squared. And if you want to figure out this middle term, take the opposite sign and combine those together. 2x squared times 1 is just 2x squared. Simplify. You don't leave it as 1 squared, you make it 1. Hmm. I didn't even circle the first one. There you go. We're going to do the uh, difference of two cubes uh, when it comes to factoring the difference of two perfect cubes and see how that goes. But that's the sum. It's really cool. It's you know like something off factoring, but I like it. Okay. Uh, with that said, have a great day.